Top things you need to know before buying a house in 2024. Hey there, future Nashville homeowners. My name is Lorreen Hetherington with HetheringtonTeam.com and Parks Realty. Our team really specializes in luxury homes, buying and selling here in Nashville, Tennessee. But today we're gonna to talk about the things you need to know before buying a house in 2024. And yes, while Nashville is our wheelhouse and that's where we specialize in buying and selling homes for sale, we really wanna give you tips that you can use no matter where you're buying a home out here in the United States. So I can't wait to dig deep into today. So if you are gearing up for a new year, a new home search, this is the video for you. Before we jump into the nitty gritty details of what you need to know to buy a home in 2024, we really wanna look at how the year ended up. And I'm gonna use Nashville statistics, but depending on where you live, things could fluctuate a little bit, but I think Nashville tells the story of what's going on around the country. For the tail end or December of 2023, we had 6,204 homes for sale in Nashville. If you compare that to, let's just say 2019 before COVID hit, we have about 40% more homes for sale today than we did at the same time period in 2019. So that's huge. All year we've been saying like, where are all the great houses? Well, guess what? The homes are starting to come. We're starting to see more and more inventory and more and more options for home buyers here in Nashville. If you look at closed volumes, so these are the number of homes that were sold in the last six months of Nashville. We have 14,240 homes closed in Nashville the last six months. That's down about 25% from 2019. So again, more homes for sale and fewer closings. What does that mean? Our inventory is at about 3.9 months. So in street terms, what that means, if not a single sold, a seller decided to put their house up for sale and add it to the inventory, it would take us 3.9 months to sell every single home that is for sale. What that means today as a buyer is you have more options, more choices, and you have more time, which is always a bonus. You can actually go home and think about it. Think about your home choice overnight. You can actually go with your realtor and go see the house for a second time. So. Personally, I feel like that is a return to normalcy. It is a return to a sane market here in Nashville where you can go home and think about this huge financial purchase. Um, you can't dilly dally and wait for a week or two, but you've got time to weigh the pros and cons of buying that particular house that you are interested in. So now we've looked at where we are, let's look futuristically into 2024 and what's important for you if you are thinking about buying a home. So as a potential home buyer, the number one thing I really believe you need to worry about is your financial readiness. What does financial readiness mean? Well, that means you really have to front load all of your financial data and get your ducks in a row so you are a very strong buyer going into 2024. Because let's face it, rates are going to go down this year and then you don't want to be scrambling to get all your loan uh, docs in order. Be docs. So what does that mean? You want to get with a good realtor, but most importantly, get with a good lender and really dial in what is your credit score? How much money do you need to buy that house? Should you be saving up some money so you can do a rate buy down? Even though we're going to see some interest rate relief in 2024, do you, does it make sense to just throw down some money to buy down your rate? Also discuss about budgeting. Number one, where are you at with your budget? What makes sense? And you may have to downsize on the price point of your house in order to keep your budget in line. So I believe just hunkering down and being financially responsible is the number one thing you can do to prepare for 2024. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you really zone in on neighborhoods or hot buttons, areas of interest that you really love. And in the old days, that used to mean like driving neighborhoods. You don't really necessarily have to do that anymore. What you want to do is really study the details. Okay, how, say you're zoning in on this one particular neighborhood called 12 South. And that's a, it's just one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Nashville. It is about 11 minutes to the heart of the city. You want to work with your agent to find out, okay, if I really want to get into 12 South and my price point is 650 to 850, about how many opportunities are going to come up the next six months? Statistically looking at it, okay, do we only have five homes that come up for sale in this price point? Do I need to look at going up? Or if this is where I need to be, that means if a home comes up and it's even close to what I want and it's in my price point, I need to be thinking very seriously about that. So I want you to do a deep dive and really ask yourself what's important to me about location. Forget about the house for a hot second, figure out where geographically you wanna live 
and then figure out in my price point, where are the neighborhoods that I really want to closely watch. The next thing you want to do to prepare to buy a house in 2024 is to find a great local expert in the city that you're going to be moving to. You want to ask them, how many years have they been in business? How many deals have they negotiated? And just ask them, hey, here's my budget. Maybe I'm 850 to 1 million. Where's the closest place I can live to the heart of Nashville and have a yard? And ask those questions to see how their responses are. They should be able to fire off pretty readily some areas of interest based on you know what you want in a house. Some people really, really, really want new and you need to talk to your agent about that because new houses come with a price and that's usually drive time to the city. Some people have been used to buying new homes all of their life and then they realize a new home here in Nashville, unless you're willing to spend 2.5 to $4 million, it could take you an hour to an hour and 15 minutes outside of the city, depending on our traffic. So that's when you have to weigh the pros and cons is, do I really want a new house? Is it worth spending two hours a day in the car just to have a new house? So that's again, discussions to have with your agent. Every market is different. And just because you bought a new home in San Diego, 15 years ago for 800,000, guess what? San Diego's market is very different than our market right now as far as taxes and affordability. So weigh the pros and cons of where you have come from and where you wanna go and do that with a local real estate expert. The next step is to keep your eye on new developments. What I mean by that is changes in the infrastructure of a city. If you are moving to Nashville, you've probably heard we have a thing going on with traffic right now. So to ease traffic, there are certain road projects that are on the radar for the foreseeable future. They may not happen today or tomorrow, but within the next three to five years, the city is eyeing certain developments and certain areas where they're just gonna have to expand and retool our highway systems. Um, also construction projects. Older roads just need to go through that facelift, just like homes do. So talk to your agent about, hey, any major developments that are going on that I need to be aware of because you don't wanna be buying a house next to a road that could expand. So get a handle on new developments and that will affect your purchase in 2024. And the last thing, and I cannot stress this enough, is be flexible and be realistic. By being flexible, I mean, don't limit yourself to shopping for homes two times a week. Every once in a while I get that call from a buyer and they're like, we're available on Tuesday afternoons from 2 to 5 p.m. and then Sunday from 6 to 8. I'm like, sister, we need to have a, a real talk because you have to be flexible. So when a great home comes up in your target price point, in your target neighborhood, we still need to get in the car and get there quickly. Homes in those great neighborhoods, and let's face it, if it's not a great neighborhood, why are you even buying it? But you need to be flexible and get there. If you're, say, buying from out of state, um, which a lot of our buyers do, I really encourage you to call us up and do a home scouting tour before you have to buy, because we can get familiar with areas and we can get to know you, you can get to know us, and I can really dial in what exactly you are looking for. Because if you are not in town and have that flexibility to run and gun and get to the house, then you need to have the flexibility to get here for a home tour first so we have a really good idea of what you're looking for. Well, so when that magical house comes up in 2024, it's gonna have your name on the deed soon. So there you have it. Some top tips you need to know before thinking about buying a home in 2024. We wanna thank you so much for giving us a couple of minutes of your time. We know your time is valuable. We're so grateful that you found yourself here on the Heatherington team YouTube. If you have any questions about the home buying process, or if you're thinking about buying or selling a home here in Nashville, Tennessee, this is our wheelhouse. This is where we specialize. And we'd be so honored to just get on the phone and talk with you a couple of minutes about your concerns, about what you're looking for, and hopefully have the opportunity to earn your business. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you never miss fresh content. We are all about helping you buy a house, get a fresh start, and live your best life in 2024.